Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to Space Engine. It is I, your local Gamer. Hope you're having a great day, great week. And, um, yeah, as I said, today we're back in Space Engine because I was just checking out a few different things, trying to expand my knowledge, and um, I decided to go way, way, way back to the Cosmic Dawn, the Big Bang, the start of the universe and um, came across a lot of great content and some great shows and they were talking about um, you know science's way of looking back in time you know using telescopes using radio um, to see the very beginning of the universe and to kind of put a time scale on things we're looking at the earth here and the sun and the sun it's around 4.6 billion years old. It's about a third the age of the universe. The Earth is about 4.3, 4.5 billion years old. And uh, the universe itself is 13.8 billion. So a huge amount of time, colossal amount of time, when we compare to the mere blips of a, a human's life. But, um, you know, peering up into the night sky we see these little dots of light and you know that's basically a time machine in itself like those dots of light they travel those photons of light travel at the speed of light and take years hundreds of years thousands millions of years to travel across space to hit the back of our corneas and um, looking up to the sky we're as I said in essence looking back in time now there's been a lot of studies as to the origins of the universe and uh, we have the uh, deep field the, the the picture of the galaxies from you know 11 billion years ago but um came across this kind of cool kind of cool dude um stefan keller i think is his name um he was looking for unusual stars and um he found one the star is about 6,000 light years away, but it's quite unique. And what Stefan was looking for was a particular type of star with a particular type of makeup. And what's unusual about this star is it has next to no iron in it. Because as stars go through their life, from the start of the universe, we have the primordial stars that were primarily based on lighter elements and they burn big they burn bright but for not very long and when they went into hypernovas they spread their elements which you know morphed into heavier elements and, and so on and so on uh, through the stellar uh, recycling basically you know the stellar evolutions like our star it's pretty ordinary which is great it's done us very well and continues to do very well for, by us but um as regards to its makeup, it's it's pretty standard. Heavy elements, you know, iron, we have hydrogen, helium, calcium. But um the primordial stars were just, you know, hydrogen. And like going way back to the beginning of the universe, it was a dark place. And it was mainly theory has it that it was mainly just hydrogen atoms and quite dispersed hydrogen atoms. For example, if, if I was holding a hydrogen atom now in my hand and it was, you know, the size of, let's say, um, a small ball, you know, the next nearest one would be, you know, halfway to the moon. And um, it's, it's not the greatest uh, way to form stars. It's a slow process, you know, but through gravitation, uh, gravity and um, heat, you know, fusion follows. But uh, these are very light el elemental stars you know hence that they were massive you know um about 10 million times more luminous than our own star and um you know about 20 times the size uh but when they exploded into hypernovas you know that's what uh, created more complex elements and so on and so on and so on but this star uh j0313 now this isn't exactly the star but this is a j 
0313 in space engine um it's about 13 billion years old so this is this star was formed from the hypernova remnants of the very very first stars out there which is absolutely freaking cool and at the moment it's the oldest known star in the universe and like looking at the the deep field image from hubble if memory serves you know i think they were going back around 11 billion years but um to me that just like blew my mind and looking at the early days of the universe you know it was a dark place but when stars started to form you know um it dispersed and coalesced these hydrogen molecules which in in, in all essence fogged the entire universe and uh, when these guys started forming, uh, they created bubbles and their uh, radiation and their light basically eventually made the universe transparent to the universe that we know today. But um, yeah, if you look it up, J0313003636 and so on and so on and so on. 13 billion years old. It's parents were the first stars out there and i just think that's super freaking cool i don't know about you so i'd like to hear in the com in the comments what you think uh does that does, does that give you food for thought uh, where does your mind go when you think of timelines like this 13 billion years ago years ago basically yeah and um you know what are your thoughts and theories of the the start of the universe as well and you know have you any other topics that you'd like me to you know dive into and maybe make content around as well um i'd be very happy to check it out and uh, as always folks you know i hope you enjoyed this short little video just to ignite a bit of curiosity and conversation in your day and uh, again you know as i said 13 billion it's a colossal amount of time when we compare it to our own lives but uh it just makes us kind of well it makes me reflect on how important it is to uh f for me and i hope for you guys to make the best of the time that we have here because uh you know we're mere blips on the cosmic theater stage here but uh anyway i digress uh, thanks for all your support uh, don't forget to like share and if you're new to the channel subscribe and hit that notification bell as well as it's always appreciated and it helps people find these videos easier as well and that's the best kind of support that you can give me and uh, as always stay tuned for more videos up and coming i've been your local shenanigamer take it easy and have a great rest of the week